The situation of minorities in Bangladesh that has become a cause of concern. Well, the interim government head Mohammed Yunus visited at Hakka Temple and what is seen as an outreach to the minorities there. Can Mohammed Yunus really save the Hindus in Bangladesh? We'll get uh, our special guests on. But before that, listen into what Mohammed Yunus had to say. আমার সাংবিধানিক অধিকারই আমাকে দিতে হবে সব সরকারের কাছে এটাই চাইবেন আর কিছু দেয় না Yes, সে নিশ্চয় এটা দিয়েছে সংখ্যালঘু সম্প্রদায়ের বাংলাদেশ এটা সকলের বাংলাদেশ এটা শুধু সংখ্যালঘু সম্প্রদায়ের বাংলাদেশ না হিন্দু বৌদ্ধ খ্রিস্টান সকলে মিলে তাদের সম অধিকার নিয়ে সম মর্যাদা নিয়ে বাস করবে দেখিয়ে এ তো আপ লোক জানতেই হে ঢাকাশ্বরী টেম্পল মন্দির এ তো বাংলাদেশ কা জাতীয় মন্দির হে ঠিক আছে ন্যাশনাল মন্দির হে তো ইহা পে উনি আয়ত হে উনি হাম সব কো এ বিশ্বাস দিলা কর গিয়া হে কে সারে বাংলাদেশ মে জো মারপিট জো হাঙ্গামা জো তোর ফোর হুই জিতনে সারে ক্রাইম হুই उन सब का उन उन्होंने रियलिटी भावे खोद खोद के निकाल के उन सब का विचार उन करेंगे and joining me this evening uh, veena sikri india's former high commissioner to bangladesh uh, a senior diplomat also i'll be joined by shamshir m choudhury foreign secretary a uh, former foreign secretary of bangladesh thanks very much uh, ma'am for being with us uh, what do you think the situation in bangladesh is currently a lot of it is not being reported a lot of them are unconfirmed reports but there is of course uh, there are concerns about the situation of hindus in bangladesh and this is not a new concern i'm sure you've had to deal with these concerns back when you were uh, uh, envoy to uh, bangladesh as well but how do you think the situation can be uh, curtailed particularly in times of anarchy Yes, there is, as you said, there is a fairly anarchic situation right now prevailing in Bangladesh. There is the interim government which has been sworn in, but the problems of the minorities continue. And as you have rightly said, it is being reported very sporadically, and even the Western media is choosing to largely ignore it. Although I must say that there have been strong demonstrations in Dhaka on Saturday by the Hindu community and in USA, UK, and Canada. Uh, on sunday uh, to draw attention to this uh, issue and the 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 the, the attacks against the minorities have been very cruel they've been rapes and killings destruction of property shops have been destroyed houses have been destroyed temples have been uh, vandalized uh, even of the iskon and iskon was the temple which held uh, the institution which helped the bangladeshi in 1971 with uh, uh, food with uh, raising huge amounts of money to and a half million dollars at that time and uh, but still they they've not been spared so this is a very shocking situation and it has created a huge furor across india as well um, um it is certainly a, a, a good sign that uh, professor mohammed yunus went to rakeshwari temple but there have been no uh, formal assurances given for example uh, as far as the students is concerned as far as the tax on the students is concerned uh, you know there's a special tribunal been appointed and they'll be looked into and so on but for the minority communities for the hindus and other minorities communities uh, there is no such investigation or judicial uh, investigation or supervision or looking into the attacks that has been assured. Um, the minority communities themselves have given a list of uh, demands. I think they've given yes. a list of requests, aspects that they they have sought uh, to assure them of their safety, which includes a minority protection law, which includes uh, you know uh, expediting of the trials of all the people who have been killed, and uh, ensuring their security and compensation for what losses they have made. Uh, we've seen the very very brutal uh, visuals of you know bodies being hung hung upside down and so on, and we do know. that the uh, percentage of minorities uh, in bangladesh has drastically fallen mm. uh, not even from 47 but even from 1971 and today it is just about um, 8% of the community yes. but they are determined to stay on there they have said that this is our land and we will stay here yes. so we certainly hope the the interim government will take some specific measures as requested of them in fact shamshir choudhury ji come in on this uh, what is exactly the extent 
of the attack on minorities as far as Bangladesh is concerned. Because as I said right at the outset, that a lot of it is either not being reported or being misreported. But how do you see the situation unfolding in Bangladesh? Vis -a -vis minorities? Thank you and nice to see Veena. Uh, we know go back uh, yeah. a long way. Uh, this is indeed shocking, the extent of vandalism that has taken place uh, immediately following the uh, ignominious departure of uh, former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on 5th of August. And vandalism initially has been widespread. It's not just the minorities who were targeted. Uh, so many people's houses were burned, so many shops were burned and attacked. And that uh, has uh, been... Uh, uh, when you say that much of it has not been reported, I think this is not right. Hmm. Everything has been reported. Everything has been very broadly and widely covered in our media, uh, in print and uh, uh, or, uh, electronic media, newspaper headlines have been cited of, you know, temples being attacked. At the same time, I don't know if you saw that, that not only Professor Yunus himself, uh, other uh, members of the interim government and the leader of, of the uh, Jamaat Islami himself, visit Dakeshwari, uh, uh, Mandir, which is the biggest temple, Hindu temple in Dhaka. And uh, there have been uh, assurances given, protections have been provided, and, and we don't see any more reports of... Uh, I have been in touch with a lot of my uh, friends from the Hindu community, and they are feeling... And the fact that the minority community... I mean, a good thing that the minority community went out in protest and making demands is an excellent thing, but that is Bangladesh that they have gone out and they have been listened to, uh, they have been uh, addressed. Uh, you must uh, understand the overall vandalism certainly is something that deserves uh, to be condemned in the strongest of terms. Hmm. I mean, this is not what the whole protest and which turned into 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 revolution. So you yes. understand revolution, the extent of repression, the lack of accountability, the absence of uh, democracy in Bangladesh over the last 15 years, the corruption, mm. the rampant corruption, cronyism, people being denied jobs unless you are an Aumi Digger or a Shatru Digger, unless you have an Aumi Digger identity. So it's a pent up frustration that led to what yeah. happened on the 5th so, of So August perhaps there is some hope, uh, given the fact that, uh, you know, Mohammed Yunus has also reached it's out. It's not some hope. No, it's, it's, it's not some hope. I'm optimistic that this yes. is... Uh, what happened was indeed very, very unfortunate and yes. deserved to be condemned. And the overall West acts of vandalism and not only minorities, minorities must feel safe in Bangladesh. They fought shoulder to shoulder with us in 1971. Yes. But uh, also let me, uh, let, let me recall that during the Awami League government, there has been a number of attacks on minority communities. There have been attacks on temples in Ramu, in... Uh, no, Shindi in, in, in yes. Kumila. Which is why I said this issue of minorities of in Bangladesh is not a new one. But uh, Veena Sikri had a point there. And also, uh, you know, just yeah. trying to understand how can India, which has established itself as an important voice, uh, you know, many call, call India the voice of the global south, particularly in the Indo Pacific, India's uh, position is uh, you know is significant and is is pretty strong how can india mediate in times like these because india has really walked the talk when it comes to extremism uh, yeah well thank you and i welcome uh, seeing some shade on the show as well um uh, we have been in touch on so many issues over the years um you know you spoke some shade about saying that the vandalism was not only against the hindu community you know it's not justified if there's one vandalism uh, the fact that you're addressing religious minorities specifically and mm. asking them to leave the country uh, this is the kind of attack that we do not expect to see uh, now at this time and if you talk about the other vandalism that has happened what has even concerned me that it is against the statues of of Sheikh Mujib, all the values yes. associated with the liberation war are sought to be destroyed. That is what has worried us in the anarchy that has that has prevailed post fifth of August. Right. And this is the source of worry to India. You know, I agree. I agree totally. Sheikh I agree totally. Yes. Mujib Nagar, Mujib Nagar, the five hundred statues there have been destroyed. So anything associated with the values of democracy and the liberation war have been destroyed. In fact, Mr. Mohammed Junus is calling this a second liberation, mm. which is what has been. So, so, so that's an important point you're making. That it's not just the attack on minorities, but you know the 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 larger situation of anarchy that is, of course, uh, not favourable. That 
that yeah. needs and to be looked at our, immediately. Our I'm afraid, Veena ji, I'm completely so running out of time here, but we'll have enough and more time to discuss this because this is, of course, a very important story that we continue to track closely on NDTV. That's all the time that we have on the show. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.